The community is rallying around the family of a Paradise Hills mother and her three sons fatally shot by the kid's father. Hundreds of people attended a candlelight vigil tonight. This is a fourth son is still fighting for his life. News 8's Amanda Shotsky is live at Rady Children's Hospital with the latest. Amanda. Carlo Ezekiel is nine years old. He remains here at Rady Children's Hospital where we're told he is in critical condition tonight. This as loved ones and friends gathered to honor his mother and three brothers, a loving family taken too soon. We all need somebody. A sea of candlelight in the night sky. It's an overwhelming show of support for the family of Sabrina Rosario and her three sons, all shot and killed by the boy's father. They were all honored at a vigil Friday night. She was my princess. Gloria Collins is Sabrina's mother. She says the family is heartbroken. We feel sick, but God gave us the strength to be here. The shooting happened nearly a week ago inside the family's Paradise Hills home. Police say Sabrina had taken out a restraining order against her estranged husband, Jose Valdivia, just one day before he showed up at the house and gunned down the family before turning the gun on himself. The only survivor is the couple's nine-year-old son, Ezekiel, who remains in critical condition. Every night they tell me he may not make it. Every morning he's still there. Sabrina's aunt, Joyce Rosario, says it's the little things she's going to miss the most. I'm not going to have coffee with her no more. I'm not going to go to preschool no more. <laughs> They're not going to stay at night at my house no more. <laughs> but I just wanted to hold them all in my arms and hug and kiss them. Those who knew the family described the boys as loving and always happy. I'm here for them and I, we will still be praying every time, every day. Through prayer, song and candlelight, the community is trying to find some peace out of this horrible tragedy. Gloria says it's her faith and community support that's helping her heal one day at a time. With all my heart, I say thank you. And the family says that funeral arrangements are still up in the air at this point. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help with medical costs for Ezekiel here at Rady Children's Hospital. We have set up a link on our website. That is the CWSanDiego.com. Carlos. Thank you, Amanda.